Hey everyone, two years ago I started selling my board for the best hot air station and I sold roughly 200 units so far, which is pretty mind-blowing to me. Um, so today I thought I would just make a quick video showing all the new features I added to the firmware and I will also have a giveaway at the end of the video, so enjoy! When you turn on your station you can easily check the installed firmware version. If it's not at least version 1.05, I recommend updating it for the best performance and features. To update your firmware, first remove the cover and connect the micro USB cable to the board. You can find the latest firmware on my GitHub page. The link is in the video description. Download the file with the UF2 extension. Now turn on your station while pressing the button labeled USB boot. A new removable storage device will appear on your computer. Open it and drag the file into it. The station will immediately reboot with the new firmware. For future updates you won't need to press the USB boot button. Instead press and hold the CH2 and CH3 buttons while turning on the station. I suggest leaving a USB cable permanently connected to the board using the convenient hole on the back of the station to feed a USB cable through. If you want to stay informed about my latest firmware releases, visit the product page on my store, scroll down and input your email address. You will receive an email whenever I release a new update. Since the initial presentation video, the minimum displayed blower speed has been lowered from 35 to 1%. The actual minimum blower speed remains the same. I've introduced a cool air only mode which was a suggestion from a viewer and can be useful to cool things down. To activate it long press the down arrow key. You can exit in the same way or by adjusting the temperature using the knob, channel keys or touch menu. You can also save this mode as a preset. When you decrease the temperature, the blower speed now increases by 35% until the set temperature is reached. You can toggle this feature on or off by turning on the station while pressing the CH1 plus CH2 keys. Temperature calibration has been enhanced with 5 values, one for each temperature range. I recommend calibrating at the midpoint of each range. If you ever need to reset to the default factory settings, you can do so by simply turning on the station while pressing the CH1 plus CH3 buttons. So as promised in the beginning of the video, I am giving one of my kits away. So if you're interested, make sure you leave a comment and I will draw a lucky winner on the 20th of September. Have fun!